a thread by Carlos Osuita. No rest for the weary. Now I have to debunk this horse shit. I guess people have no idea how President Trump is protected. Look up LARP and ARG. I had to look up ARG, but LARP is live action role playing and ARG is alternate reality game. Millie Weaver tweets, exclusive footage, leftist protest groups plot election day coup aided by the Democrat Party, federal employees, and intelligence contractors. They plan to shut down and take over Washington, D.C. starting November 4th until inauguration day to force Trump out of the White House. Carlos responds. You people said White House insider. You also said members of the administration. None of them are either. One may be a Department of Energy fellow. That means she got a DOE fellowship. A fellowship is a merit-based scholarship for advanced study of an academic subject. One claims she was a contractor at DHS HQ. That means exactly nothing. They contract out for painters. The fact that she's a up-talker identifies her as a drone. Another up-talker says she works in the national security community. Again, that doesn't mean anything. Anyone with a brain would know that Zoom calls are like leaving open your front door. Did you hear their, quote, plan? Do you know what the plan was in the book Papillon? It was a steel container the size of a cigar that held your cash and jewelry. You shoved it up your butt before you went off to the penal colony. At least that plan was worth something. Did you know that in the past five years, you people have not come up with one credible fear? When does it end? These Zoom plan heads are describing things that they have no ability to do. Do you have any idea how many people it would take to do what they claim they're going to do? Blockade every police station. They make no mention of the uniformed U.S. Secret Service, but whatever. Stop 535 members of Congress from going to Capitol Hill. Lay siege to the White House attack the White House and do something with small arms. They left out the United States Secret Service counter assault teams. For those of you just listening, there's this amazing picture of a U.S. Secret Service guy with a thousand yard stare and a gun that's bigger than the continent of Australia. Here's one member. Do you have any idea How many people he could stop all by himself? Seriously, if you're just listening, you have to look at this photo. There are 1,000 plus federal tactical teams. There are 10 military bases in Washington, D.C. All will have assets pre-positioned. There are multiple ways to bring in personnel. None require streets. But... If there's an armed assault underway on the White House and BLM Antifa lie down on the streets to block them, guess what the military does? Link in the thread, YouTube video, M1 Abrams mobility and speed demo. You think I'm kidding. Nobody will know who these people are except that they're terrorists. Let's see a show of hands. Who thinks they'll get treated with kid gloves? See, the fear-filled Trump supporters are just as delusional as BLM Antifa. If someone launches a mass coordinated armed assault on the White House, there are no rules of engagement. Did you not know that? Where did you get this idea that the military would wring its hands the way you do? Did you see this from NPR.org? U.S. Special Operations Forces Rescue American Hostage in Nigeria. All done without leaking. Several news outlets are reporting the identity of the unit, but I highly doubt it. U.S. Special Operations Command Africa, Africa, has its own direct action special mission unit. 
but nobody in the press knows that. So here's where we are. Too many of the general public doesn't know anything. The press doesn't know anything. Most politicians don't know anything. And everybody believes in campfire tales. Well, the price of not knowing anything can be very high. Today, firearms are not a deterrent. Shoot me, bitch. Shoot me. Shoot me. And yet, when they get shot, they scream like colicky babies. Why is that? Because they didn't know it would hurt. I didn't see this movie, but this is what people think happens when you get shot. Link in the thread, Ballad of Buster Scruggs, saloon scene. I'm sure it's just a flesh wound is probably included in the scene. I can tell you from firsthand experience that when a person is shot fatally in the head, their knees give out, they drop straight down, and they either fall on their back or on their face. That movie is entertainment for those who don't find it insufferable. But now, way too many people are lost in full-time fantasy. How many times have you heard the term flesh wound? Well, if you get shot in any of your extremities, it'll be a medical miracle if you escape without permanent damage. The flesh on your arms is muscle. In movies, they tie a handkerchief around it and are fine. In real life, your arm stops working because the purpose of muscle is to use your arm. Am I getting through to you? When the muscle is damaged, your limb becomes defective. And God help you if it hits bone, because your bone will shatter. Watch this trailer. The 7-Up's official trailer, 1973, link in the thread. This is Richard Lynch. He played only villains, and he was horrifying. Lynch was a hopeless drug addict who set himself on fire in Central Park at the age of 27. He got third-degree burns over 70% of his body, including his face. But... He made a vow that if he survived, he'd turn his life around. He did. And he did. He became a first-rate actor based on his scarred face. And he became a professional jazz musician, a multi-instrumentalist, saxophone, guitar, piano, and flute. He decided to become a dual Irish-American citizen and lived to be 72. By all accounts, he was the nicest, most grateful person in the world. Hideous for pretend, wonderful for real. The notorious coke-sniffing scene in Invasion USA is one for the books. If you watch it, be prepared to never forget it. Horrendous. See how it works? Movies and TV aren't real. Social media isn't real. This coup is not real. All that's real is Donald Trump's inevitable landslide victory, which I've been predicting for years. After the last Trump election victory, the terror started. For some of you, it'll never end. Guess what? You're in hell. Seriously, a hell of your own choosing. All hell is voluntary. Think about what you're afraid of. It's pitiful. Even worse, you're unreliable. I can't depend on you. In a real crisis, you'd go to pieces. Imagine that as your epitaph. I was unreliable. Addendum. I see that I did not, in fact, reach a lot of you. Okay, check this out. The video is totally screwed up. It'll freeze and go into reverse a few times. Link in the thread. Watch live. President Trump in Bangor, Maine. See the guy next to Trump? Tactical gloves. He's got an FNP90 under his jacket. Those U.S. Secret Service agents 
are the most heavily armored men and women I've ever seen. That's why they look like they have big bellies. It's armor. The tactics have changed. They've been trained in close protection by our Arab allies who taught them that the best defense is massive offense. So now they're equipped and armed to put up an incredible fight. Heavy firepower and the ability to take lots of bullets. The agent with the tactical gloves is the closest protection. Everyone has fully automatic weapons, but he stays right beside the president. In the past, the main training was to form human shields. Agent Tim McCarthy shielded Reagan, but he got shot and was out of the fight. Reagan got shot anyway, and he almost died. So now the human shields have incredible body armor, and they fire back. Instead of grabbing Trump and running, his closest protection shields him and fires back. They used to get the president away as fast as they could. Now, if it's an actual attack in which shots are fired, they fire back while forming a bulletproof block. And they have other things that I won't describe. It ain't like the movies at all. Give up. I know a lot more about this than you do. As hard as you try, I can always prove that Trump is safe. So stop blubbering. 